Hi guys, it's Shanae. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be trying out some new makeup. So today's video is quite exciting because I've been dying to try this stuff out. I was very, very lucky. Um, I ended up getting a PR package from Astralis and Astralis is just a brand that's been with me since maybe I was about 15, 16, when I was in really early high school, Astralis is what I used to use. So I'm so happy that they have come out with these products. So as you can see, I've got some Astralis palettes here and these are actually like custom like palettes. These actually are available in price line now. So basically um, you buy your palettes separate and these are like magnetic palettes and then you can pick whatever products you kind of want to put in them that way it is like a custom palette so as you can see I still have a lot of pans that have nowhere to go but this is how they come they just come in like a little cardboard packaging you take them out and then they like stick into the palette so the only downfall like with these products is that once you take them out of the cardboard packaging none of the pans have names on the bottom so I went to the F it, to cut out the names of everything and I labeled them all myself so that did take a while probably don't do that like if you can be bothered go ahead I've just got like a perfection problem um, where I feel like everything needs to be labeled and organized so I labeled everything like I cut it out and I stuck it onto the pan and I also did pass that feedback on to Astralis because they did email me and ask me if I tried everything out yet which I hadn't at the time and then they asked me if I had any feedback and that was a feedback back I gave them I said if you want to make it really easy for like influencers youtubers or like even you guys like if you guys want to follow my tutorial it's going to be so much easier if there's like a name on the bottom of the pan so that was my feedback but other than that I obviously have not tried the product so I don't know how they work so let's get straight into it I have a feeling this video is gonna be long AF so I apologize in advance probably grab like I don't know a cup of tea or a snack or something obviously I've already done my brows because I hate filming my brows on camera they just take so damn long I'm going to prime my eyelids I did use my Tarte Shape Tape to kind of carve out my brow so that's what I'm going to use to prime my eye and this shade is just in light neutral I'm going to set that concealer down with my Maybelline Matte Maker Powder. So I always set my eye base down. I just feel like this makes the shadows go on a lot smoother. I have come across some eyeshadows in the past that like this method doesn't always work with, but 90% of the time, um, this is how I do like my eye base. And this is what usually works with eyeshadows. I think I wanna do something different today. I don't wanna do any warm tones. I wanna do cool tones. I think I might actually do something blue, which is different, like a blue gray. I'm kind of envisioning. So the first shade I'm going to take is taupe fedora. It's just like this cool tone, taupey gray color. I'm gonna use this as my transition color. And for my brush, I'm going to use my Morphe M502 brush. I'm just going to run this through the crease, just kind of fluff it through. I'm now going to take this kind of gray blue color. So it's just that color there. And I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to kind of go over that um, transition color. I literally never like use colors like these. So let's hope this doesn't turn into like a hot mess. I'm now going to take a Zoeva 228 brush and the color Double Denim, which is this really nice blue color. And by the way, so far I have not had any issues like with the colors. I feel like they've blended out all pretty nicely. I can notice this Double Denim color has a little bit more kick up, but that's something that doesn't really bother me. But I like to mention it in case you guys like, you know, you wanna know. So I wasn't sure on this color, when I first put it on. It does take a little bit of building, but it's definitely building. I love that it is actually sticking to my eye. You know how some shadows you put on and then they fall off? This I can see is definitely like building up in the crease. So I'm just moving on to the other eye and 
you can see how much this color has built up after I just put a little bit of work into it. It is a really, really nice blue color. I'm not one to usually wear blues. I'm enjoying it so far. So what I'm doing is just taking that Zoeva brush and just kind of fluffing that through, kind of so we get like a base color. And I also did go back into that gray transition shade in between like putting this one on just so it would blend out a little bit nicer. And then I jumped over to my Kylie Cosmetics brush. This came with like my Royal Peach palette. I just kept the brush. It's actually pretty good. It's a little bit denser and it's also like a little bit longer. And I use this to kind of pack on the color. Just place it right into the crease. Probably had the most fallout with this shade so far. Um, but if you're someone who does face makeup first, just be wary that you will get a bit of fallout. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up this fallout off my face. I'm not done with the eyeshadow yet, but just looking at the fallout's kind of stressing me out a little bit. I think I might actually um, mix two colors together. I think I'm going to start off with Dark Skies, which is like a dark brown color. And I'm also going to take the black in this palette. And this one's called Midnight. So I'm going to mix those two kind of on the outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit more. I feel like I'm having a little trouble with this um, kind of black color. It's not building up like as much as I want it to. It's not terrible, but like, I just feel like it's not sticking on very well. So for my lid color, I'm going to take Smoky Haze, which is like a gunmetal kind of, I don't know, silvery gray color. Might just wet um, my brush a little bit. Um, so far, I think everything's working pretty well. Um, it was more that black shade I had a bit of trouble with. I just feel like it wasn't going on as smoothly as I wanted and it wasn't really um, sticking. All the other ones I felt like I could actually build up, but that one, yeah, I had a bit of a problem with. Um, the lid shade definitely goes on a lot nicer if you do wet the brush. I'm just going to put on a bit of eyeliner. I'm going to use my Maybelline uh, Studio Gel Liner. And to clean up my liner a little bit, I'm going to take the Balm Schwing Liquid Liner, just so I can really get that point to look precise. Okay, so I'm going to put um, mascara on now. I'll just curl my lashes. So I'm going to put my eyelashes on now. I'm going to use my Bouquet Beauty Stella lashes. So this is what they look like. They're just really nice and like fluffy and they are like double layered as well. If I didn't mention this already, these are my friend's lashes, Jacob, and that's Jacob here on YouTube. So yeah, I'm so proud of him. I think I've already said this in a video, but I'm so proud of him. He's done such a good job and I love these lashes so much. So I'm going to leave the website linked down below if you guys want to go check them out. So I've got the lashes on now. You can see how beautiful and fluffy they are. I'm going to move on to my face makeup. I'm going to do my foundation and everything like off camera because I want this video to be focused on the like Australis products that I'm trying out today, but I will have all the products listed down below. Okay, so I've applied my foundation. I want to move on to using these like cream contours and highlighters. I think I still might put my own concealer underneath my eyes only because I know these are really, really creamy creamy and they probably will crease underneath my eyes if it's the same as um, the cream contour palettes. I felt like I was going to burp just then. <laughs> I'm just going to take that um, Tarte Shape Tape again in light neutral. I'm just going to go like right underneath. I'm trying to get the brightness um, right on my videos because I don't want it to be too bright where you guys are like, damn, like you're washing everything out. Um, so I've tried, I tried to turn down my light a little bit. 
I'm going to start off with just highlighting a little bit. I'm going to use the banana shade um, in the cream highlight. And I'm using a Beauty Glamour Box brush. This one is a flat shader and it's synthetic, so it'll work well with the creams. Oh, I expected this to be um, actually creamier, to be honest. I'm happy that it isn't creamier because I feel like when they are, they move around everywhere. But I'm not putting it directly underneath the eye. I'm also going to bring that down the sides of the nose. And to cream contour, I think I'm going to mix um, two shades. So I've got this Havana cream contour, which is a very cool tone, kind of taupey color. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of this. I think it might be actually a little bit too cool for me, so I'm not going to use any more. I'm now going to grab this um, taupe color, but it actually definitely looks a little bit warmer. Okay, um, the cream contours are much softer. I actually dipped way too hard into that one. The banana one wasn't like that though. So just be careful. Just going to mix it with that color. That other color is definitely way too um, gray for me. I've still got like heaps of other colors of this cream contour as well. There's some I haven't even taken out of um, the packaging yet. I don't typically like really contour my forehead that much, only because I feel like I do have a smaller forehead. And I'll start blending all of that out. I'm going to start with the highlighted areas. That's blended out really nicely, like really quickly. I'm now going to move over to my powder highlight and of course I'm going to take the banana shade. You guys know how much I love the Australis banana powder. I don't even know how many I've gone through to be honest because I use it all the time. I just love this powder. So I'm going to use this one to set underneath my eyes and I'll bring that on the sides of the nose as well. I definitely want to try um, their new loose banana powder. I'm so excited to try it. So I'm going to set my face with my normal powder, which is my Savvy Natural Finish Press Powder in the color Sand Beige. I just feel like this goes really well with my fake tan. I feel like my face is looking a little bit lighter at the moment. So hopefully this will um, bring it back down to the color my face is probably meant to be. So to bronze up my face a little bit, I'm going to take this powder contour in the color Cappuccino. It is like a warmer kind of shade. That's why I want to use it for bronzing. And I'm just going to take this really big uh, Morphe brush. This is an M527 brush. And I just like that it's really big and fluffy. So I can just kind of like bronze up with it. So I'm not sure if Australis have maybe improved the formula of like the powder contours and bronzers because I've still got one of the really old like contour kits and I find that a little bit hard to work with. Whereas this one's going on really nice and smoothly. Like I barely have to really try and I don't have to be like that careful. It is very pigmented. It's blended out really lovely. And to give my cheekbones a little bit of definition, I'm going to jump into the color taupe and I'm going to use my Sigma F05 small contour brush. So you don't have to cream contour and powder contour. I like to do it. Um, I just feel like it makes it more intense, but that's total personal preference. And I'm taking that taupe color and just like contouring my nose a little bit. I'm going to grab a bit of my Rimmel translucent powder and I'm just going to clean up my contour. For blush, I'm going to take the color Fame, which is quite like a light coral kind of blush. Um, I just don't want to really overbear the face when I've got quite dramatic eyes. Honestly, so far everything's worked really nicely. I'm really happy with everything. Like I said at the start, I think it was just the fallout you need to be wary of. And for highlighter, I've got the color Peach Dreams. This is without um, any setting spray going on very nicely. It's very um, buttery. I think I like it because it is very smooth. Oh 
I'm just going to dust this off. So I'm just going to finish off the eyes now. Um, I'm going to take double denim again and my brush also has a little bit of that really dark brown color as well. So I think I am going to add a little bit of shimmer um, to this eye makeup. I'm going to take my Too Faced glitter glue, just this one right here. I'm actually just going to pop that on the center of the eye. And I'm going to take the Astralis Shimmer Pot. And this one's in the color Mesmerize Mermaid. I need to put mascara on. I almost forgot to do that. Okay, so for lips, I think I might try out this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lip. It actually has my name like on it. I got it printed at the price sign event, but I've never worn it. I've got no idea like if it's gonna be okay. Okay, so my thoughts on all the Astralis products. Honestly, I really liked everything. There were a few things, you know, that maybe could have been a bit more pigmented and stuff like that, but honestly, I had no trouble creating this look. I think it's honestly such a good idea to have these in the drugstore. Finally, drugstore makeup is just doing something a little bit different. I just think this would be great for anyone. Like you can pick your palette and pick exactly what you need, whether you need some eyebrow powders, blushes, highlighters, whatever. Like you can pick your go-to look. That's why I love it so much and it is so affordable. Let me know if there's anything in particular um, that you want me to use or maybe certain colors and whatnot. I didn't use any of the eyebrow powders today, so maybe I'll have to use those next time. Like I said earlier, there is quite a lot of fallout to these shadows so please keep that in mind maybe do your eye makeup first it will just save you the hassle later on trying to you know clean it up off your foundation because if I had my foundation on and I did my like eye makeup I probably would have had to take all my foundation off because there was a lot like there was a lot happening anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me if you want me to do more trying out videos or there's any other products you would like me to try let me know so I'm going to do another question of the day before I go I'm not sure if I've asked this one before. I know that I've asked you guys where you are from and within Australia as well, but I don't think I've asked you guys how old you are. So I want to know because I can't remember if I've asked that. I don't think I have. And if you guys didn't know, I'm 25. A lot of people get shocked when I tell them that. They usually think I'm a bit younger because I've got such a baby face, especially without makeup. I just look. I look really young. I get told a lot that I'm trying to look grown and I'm like, I am grown. Like, I'm an adult. I'm 25. But on that note, I'm going to let you guys go and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.